has the right types of um, silicate rocks with complicated variable textures. It has disseminated sulfide mineralization. Now it has massive sulfide mineralization. It's sitting within a rift that has undergone a degree of transpressional evolution. Um, and it's um, got all the hallmarks of being a, a magmatic sulfide um, mineral system. It certainly isn't, um, isn't produced by a little gasp of mineralization being uh, bled in a structure. It's being produced by a primary magmatic process. I'm very, very grateful that I've had the experience through life of seeing a wide range of different nickel deposits around the world and actually being able to recognize the features in the host rocks and in the mineralization that potentially would make um, a potential economic discovery. Um, that, that's really, really incredibly exciting to have been involved with that, uh, with that process and with the, with the discovery of these massive sulfide lenses at, um, at ENL. Um, obviously, this is some of the best mineralization I've ever seen in, a, in an entirely new discovery in terms of grade, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing more of the same into the future. Starting with hole four, where we have solid numbers for the grades of copper, nickel, cobalt, platinum, palladium, gold, and uh, silver, um, these numbers are extremely exciting. Um, to get 7% uh, nickel over an interval of 48 that is going to be fairly close, I believe, to uh, a true thickness. Obviously, we have to fill in holes around it to be absolutely sure that it's right on that, but it's going to be very close. Um, that, that is very unusual in any magmatic sulfide system. I'd say it's in the top few percent of global um, intervals of mineralization encountered, and uh, it would be a rare treat in some of the bigger mining camps to, in, to, uh, to um, intersect a mineral zone of that, that type of grade. So that grade is spectacular.